In October of 2015, I decided to go to the New York Public Library to peruse a scrapbook that was willed to the library by Kathleen Bayfield, the second wife of St. Clair Bayfield, who was the second, albeit common law husband, of Florence Foster Jenkins. I asked a close friend to accompany me and read into a microphone every single printed word of every article and program from the 62-page scrapbook. There were many revelations and surprises that came of this. The most remarkable ones were statements in the 1934, 1935, and 1936 programs of her Verdi Club's most lavish of events, the Ball of the Silver Skylarks, which was always held in December. Here is my friend reading from the program of December 14, 1934. Part 2, Moving Picture of Madame Florence Foster Jenkins' song recital in the Grand Ballroom of the Ritz-Carlton Hotel, November 8th. Somebody made a movie of her November 8th, 1934, because this is December 14th, 1934. Wonder where that is. Wouldn't that be something to find it? When I heard these words, I was overjoyed to learn that Madame Jenkins actually had had the wherewithal to document herself on film. That joy immediately turned into a sad assumption that the movies were thrown away or lost. After all, she was merely infamous at death and not yet famous until 1954 when RCA acquired her Melatone Studio shellacs and issued them to the world. On September 10th, 2016, after attending a Daughters of the American Revolution tribute to Madame Jenkins and her mother, Mary Hoagland Foster, at Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania's Hollenbach Cemetery, a woman walked up to me and said, We have movies of Jenkins. This lady was the wife of the grandson of the executrix of Madame Jenkins' estate, Ella Bulford Harvey. She, along with her husband and son, discovered these eight movies in their attic in 2008. The films, taken over a period of seven years, had been stored away in their original metal canisters for 64 years. And yet, since then, no one had showed any interest locally, not even during their yearly family reunions. Up to now, you have only heard her, but here is your opportunity to see her. Here are excerpts from the films, Glimpses of the World of Florence Foster Jenkins. 